We are right up here in the front with all the VIPs. Look at all these people that have come here. Someone spilled tea on Guftar's shoes and he's cleaning it off and uh, kissing their feet. That's that's true devotion. Okay, cheers, man. Thank you. See you, see you. See you, man. Yeah. All right, we are departing our friend's house and we're being transported to another friend's house, our next host. He's got private drivers. I got this contact from a friend in, in London, so we'll see if it's a serial killer or not. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, this is nice. Whoa. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Whoa. Whose house am I in? Well, I feel underdressed. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what's happening. I've never met this guy. We just have a mutual friend. I'm just waiting idly in here. Okay. Welcome! Oh, hello! <laughs> I hope your journey was good. Yeah, it was easy. Please, please have a seat. Oh, cheers, thank you. Your, your house is very nice. Thank you so much, it's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. It's your own house. Oh, thank you. It's your own house. <laughs> cheers, thank you so much, man, yeah. You live here alone, or? Uh, I live with my family. Okay. So my family owns an and uh, this is another home which I made for myself. Yeah, I spend most of my time here. So oh, you, you have two homes? Uh, well, I have three homes. Would thank you like to have some orange juice? Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just give me a minute. I'll okay. be back in a moment. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need my Ahmed suits for this house. Where's my Ahmed suit at when I need it? I left it in Iraq. <laughs> thank you so much, sir. Wow. Thank you. Cheers, man. So it's basically a blend of Mosami and Kino, two mm. types of oranges. That is delectable. That's very, I'm glad you like that's it. very good. <laughs> you have cooks here and like... Yeah, I do have a cook here. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Dinner is served. Thank you so much. So this is nothing, my dear. This, this is amazing. Nothing. Do you usually eat like this? Uh, yeah, often nice. <laughs> this is delicious. Your I'm mother's so recipe is very so good. Like yeah, I heard it was like a very Pakistani thing to like be offended if someone didn't eat enough food. Exactly, I'm so offended. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think I did an okay job. Uh, I left one. Uh, I left one. Uh, no, no, no. Wait, you have another whole family in your house? Yeah, they are helpers. We don't need to wash dishes. We don't need to wash clothes. We don't need to iron clothes. We don't need to wa uh, wash our washrooms. We don't need to clean our house. It's all set. That's a big help here. Yeah. And that's normal. That's yeah, normal. That's Everybody normal. has help here, yeah. Yeah, the person I was staying with before said there's a guy that cleans their car every day. He washes both of their cars every day and they pay him like $10 a month. Yeah, exactly. So it's not just like reserved for like wealthy people. No, it's no, 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 just no, no. A common for... So see, every class they have helpers. helpers. So it depends how you are a high family. class, <laughs> your, your helpers are like some kind of like sophisticated, some educated. Mm. They always so have middle class, they have helpers, some less educated and more needy. But in our case, things are a bit different. Mm -hmm. Sorry to cut you. In our case, in our family system, it's a spiritual family, it's a religious family. And they think of us more as, you know, religious leaders and all. Particularly when it comes to the family, like I told you that we descend from, you know, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. They send their kids so they could ultimately learn something. All right, this is my room. Sweet, dude. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. I know you didn't make the bed yourself, but it looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> I do make my bed myself, actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know Christmas songs? Christmas songs? <laughs> oh, Let's hear your favorite song, the one you like playing the most. Bravo. Yo, dude, check out my room for the night. We got a big ass king size bed, fucking mirrors, fucking television. Dude, they've individually wrapped all these little snacks for me. They got water bottles, fresh fruit with a knife. Into the bathroom. Whoa. Look, they got they fucking set out little slippers for me. They're too small, but that's fine. Dude, and they bought me, dude, fucking Guftar bought me all of this shit. He bought me a toothbrush, which is convenient because I left mine at the last place. All of this hydra energy. I don't even know what this is. 
fucking soap, Listerine. I would never even use this stuff on my own and they bought it for me, dude. Like the hospitality in Pakistan is out of this world. It is insane. Sahidam Milal Fuck! Bahawal Shaaar! Oh wow. All right, we've just arrived in Guftar's ancestral village where they're having some big ceremony. I don't know what's happening. Right. How are you, my friend? How are you? There's so many people outside. Are they here? They all happen to be ladies' devotees. Mm. And they're waiting for the monthly prayer that's going to take place in a couple of minutes from now. Mm. Yeah. Ah, so it's a special day. It's a special day. Yeah. How are you? How are you? Yeah, Good to see you again. Is it, Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, I like your necklace. That's nice. Yes. Fine. We're following your uncle right now. Absolutely. What's about to happen? It's basically a monthly prayer that mm. takes place in commemoration of our ancestors. We have to be quick. Oh, and okay, we have okay. to take our shoes off over there. Okay. Wow. Oh. Whoa. Dang. Oh my goodness. Wow, how are you? How are you? How are you? Oh, wow, the oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay, okay. We are right up here in the front with all the VIPs. Oh my goodness, we're right next to them. Look at all these people that have come here. I feel very unqualified being here. Oh, this, that's for me? Oh. <laughs> okay, nice. Guftar yeah. Kumpul is actually one of the descendants of Muhammad, so that's why people are taking this event very seriously. People are very devoted to him. They, I don't know, I don't know really what's going on, but he's a very important man in Islam. Actually, one of his ancestors when they die, they built a big shrine to him. And I think the same thing's gonna happen when, when this man passes away. They're gonna build a big shrine to devote him because clearly he has a lot of followers. <laughs> Should I come with you? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh shit. Let's go with guitar and my guy's stuck. Oh shit. Alright. Oh my god. They pulled me through. Oh, I thought I got stuck in there for a second. Holy shit. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, I forgot my shoes. And just because I'm a guest with Guthar, they allowed me to go through. And just because I'm a guest with Guthar, they allowed me to go through. Everyone else, they're, they're kind of locking out. Jesus. That was very intense. It's okay? I can see. Oh, nice. Okay, GG. Thank you. There's even a big line to go meet Star's uncle. I think he's like giving people blessings and like saying prayers for them. People from all over the village come and ask for blessings from, from Guftar's uncle. A very important man. And I must admit, I feel a bit out of place because I'm sitting here with all the yeah. elders. I'm sitting here with all the elders, kind of the OGs at the table, and uh, nice to meet you. but uh, yeah, I'm sitting here with all the OGs, and I'm just an out of place, broke backpacker with all these very important men in Islam. <laughs> The people are coming. Why, why are they coming here? Yeah, they're for uh, uh, dua and uh, their problems, small problems. Uh, and 
the pizza used to pray for all these people. Oh, so yeah. Guftar's uncle is saying a prayer. Yes, yes. He's saying a special prayer yes, for special all of these people. Yeah, all these people. Mm. Yeah, I can tell he's very um, respected. They, they love him. Yeah, yes. They have uh, deep respect for him. All these fellows. Mm. And so because he's a ancestor of Muhammad, yeah. he has like a special connection. Yeah. Oh, wow. And since Muhammad is one of your ancestors, do you treat you kind of on the same level as, as your uncle? Or? Uh, not the same level, of course, but there's a difference between our uncle and us, spiritually and otherwise as well, because he has dedicated his entire life to the system to his duty, I think we're fortunate mm. that people give us, you know, immense respect mm. because of our ancestors. Oh, can I? Oh, too many people. Oh, they'll come in if you open the door. Oh, wow. Oh, can I just look? I just want to see. Oh, shit. Wow. OGs, the OGs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shukriya, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Someone spilled tea on Guftar's shoes and he's cleaning it off and uh, kissing their feet. That's, that's true devotion. People come from Canada to see from all over your the world, uncle. Actually, to see uh, my uncle. Yeah. When your uncle dies, will they make a shrine like they have in? Well, we don't think about such stuff because we always wanted him to live for like a century and more than that. But yeah, this is the way it usually happens. Oh, Guftar, is he leaving? He's leaving. He's yeah. leaving. Okay. So his devotees are following him out. But I'm not sure what's happening now. I think uh, we're leaving. I don't know. I don't know what this is. We're all just following him out. The chaos continues. I think they're they're, lo they're loading in all the donations there. People were giving him money, giving him food, giving him gifts. You can see Guftar there and everyone else saying goodbye to the special man, the man of the hour. Wow, I feel like I might get run over here. Wow. It's like the Beatles have come to town. I've never seen anything like this. I didn't know I was staying with uh, royalty. <laughs> Why do you say that? I'm telling you. Trust me. God brought you here. You didn't come by yourself.
क्या हाल है बेटा ठीक हो आप वालेकुम असलम जी वालेकुम असलम सवा लख नारा है दरबार नारा है